All right, I gotta get rid of this uh, fuel tank and get rid of it pretty soon. But I'm probably gonna recycle these uh, these pieces. So I just figured I'd make a video on this. Uh, I'll show you the entire tank right here. Fuel, this right here is gonna be for the uh, EVAP. This is the filler, goes to the filler neck. And this is also for, um, actually that's for, that's probably for EVAP too. Actually these are for EVAP. This one, this one, this is the filler neck. And then uh, this is going to go for the fuel pump. This is the pressurized coming from the fuel pump right here. This is go going to power the fuel pump and it's also going to be for your sending unit the, uh, to see how much fuel you have in your tank. This right here though, this is the, um, they call it the fuel tank pressure transducer sensor. But uh, basically this is how your computer knows when to set the check engine for um, an EVAP leak because this entire unit went, it's supposed to be sealed and that's going to tell it when it's sealed if it loses pressure because it's going to sense the pressure using voltage it's going to tell you whether this unit right here is going to lose pressure it's going to seal it using the vacuum from the engine using the vent solenoid and the purge solenoid it's going to seal this and then it's going to take a look at the voltage coming from this pressure transducer from this pressure sensor and um, it's going to tell it whether to set an evap code or not based on what the readings are on the the circuit um, that's what it looks like this particular vehicle is a ford they all pretty much look the the, the same uh, it's a three wire it pretty much works the same as a, a throttle position sensor you got the power you got the ground and then you got the signal wire and the power is not from the fuse in this instance it's like a 5 volt I believe it's a 5 volt most instances it's going to be a 5 volt this is how you unplug it like this you just push down pull it out this is how you undo it from the actual tank itself so you got an o-ring to help it seal if that o-ring goes bad then you're going to have an evap system leak and that's what it is right there um, we're going to take a look at a wiring diagram real quick and we're going to identify the wires that we're looking at and we're going to identify them real quickly to see what wires we would have to be looking at in order to check them all right so we got the uh, the white and violet the yellow and red looks like in the let me see what the other one is uh, brown and brown and white yeah we got the brown and white in the middle we've got the yellow and violet which is right here and then we have a uh, white and violet and then we're gonna look at the wiring diagram real quick and we're gonna identify what is what using the wiring diagram really quick so right here we got we found it right here pressure fuel tank pressure transducer sensor and we want to know basically which one's the power the 5 volt reference and which one's the ground and which one's the signal real easily right off the bat we got the white and the violet right here that's the signal that's going to be sending the signal the difference in voltage based on the pressure when pressure changes the volts will increase or decrease from 0.5 to 4.5 and then the computer is going to use that voltage signal from this pressure transducer to translate to whether it has a, a loss of pressure or an increase of pressure so uh, we want to know which one it, which one is the the five volt reference and which one is the ground you got the yellow and the violet on the left and then you got the brown and the white so we want to know um, which one is the five volt reference and we want to know which one is the ground well we can trace this all the way down to the root of where it's going but there an uh, engine coolant temperature sensor is also on this list right here an engine coolant temperature sensor and a uh, uh, pressure sensor such as the throttle position sensor these look the same but they're not the same they act the same as far as how they work but internally they're not the same but so 
the engine coolant temperature sen sensor is um, that works differently than this fuel tank pressure sensor and they cannot share the same 5 volt reference so you can see right here these share the yellow and the violet and the yellow but it does not share this one right here which is the brown and the green the, that tells us right off the bat because of the fact that this shares with this the brown and the green and the brown that brown wire is not the 5 volt feet that's the ground and this one right here shares with this one the yellow and the violet and that right there tells us that's the 5 volt feed so that's the 5 volt feed the one on the left right there is the yellow the one on the right is the yellow and the violet and in this case let me see the uh, 5 volt feed, 5 volt feed, ground same to the ground so we got the uh, we got the signal right here and then based on the information we have right here this yellow and violet is the 5 volt reference and then the brown and the white which is in the middle is going to be the it should be the ground in this instance actually let me take a look let me see we'll follow this one up yellow brown and white goes over goes over give me one second color what are we looking at we're looking at the brown and the white for the brown and the white yellow 14 The yellow, the 14, is the reference voltage, 5 volt reference, yellow. And actually, I guess I'll show you that. Yellow, 90 reference voltage and those two share that so we got yellow reference voltage so we're gonna go so we got the uh, actually this one right here are the yellow that one right there where it splices that's the reference voltage like I was saying I believe the one that shares it's shared right there with that dot showing it shares it that goes down to the throttle position sensor that's the 5 volt reference comes over goes down the yellow and violet that's the 5 volt reference so we know this is the signal just because it's hooked up to, to right here. So the white and the violet is the signal. And then the yellow and the violet is the 5 volt reference. And then the brown and the white is the ground. And we could really just identify with that 
because this shares, these cannot share a 5 volt reference. So because they're sharing something, this has to be a ground. So if we know that's a ground, and then we know that one is the signal, then this yellow that it shares has to be the 5 volt reference. Actually, we could just look at what we have right here, and we could identify that. I just wanted to make sure on my own. So you got the brown on the throttle position sensor, sharing with the brown and green with the engine pulling temperature sensor. And because they cannot share the same 5 volt reference, we know that's a ground. Now, so we can exclude that as being a 5 volt reference. Now we got the throttle position sensor and we got the fuel tank pressure transducer sensor. And then they're shared the 5 volt reference. They're not going to share the same signal because they're not going to send out the same signal. But they can share the same 5 volt reference. So we know that the yellow and the violet for this fuel tank pressure transducer, the yellow and the violet, that's the 5 volt reference. And then the white and the violet is the signal. So that's what we did. We identified it. We'll go over it again. So according to what I just said, we got yellow and violet, which is this wire right here. The yellow and the violet. That is the 5 volt reference. We should see 5 volts on there. And then the brown and the white, or I'm sorry, the... Uh, Yeah, brown and white. That looks purple to me. This is the brown and the white. That is the ground. And then this one right here, the white and the violet, that's going to be the signal. So we should have a signal here that varies depending on the pressure. And we should have a good ground here, less than 100 millivolts when it's activated when there's power key on engine off and then we should also have 5 volt reference here when the keys on so we should have 5 volts on this one then we should have a ground less than 100 millivolts on this one and then depending on the difference of variation of pressure we should have voltage change on that and one thing you could do to uh, change the voltage is you could like uh, put an air compressor hook it up and uh, push air into here and it should it should change the voltage signal that you're going to have. So once again this is the uh, fuel tank pressure transducer sensor. It should be almost the same on mostly any vehicle. It should be three wires. You need to look for the 5 volt reference and in this case it's the yellow and the violet and then you're going to look for a ground which in this case is the brown and the white and you're also going to look for the signal and in this case it's the white and the violet. So it's pretty easy looking at the wiring diagram to figure out what, what you're looking for. But that's what, you, what you're going to look for when you're looking at a, a, a pressure sensor. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.